Okay. Right now... I wanna see if I can get rid of... Uh, Aerie without Minsk leaving. Because I do want to get rid of Aerie. For no really other reason that she's pathetic and uh, and annoying. I am sure you want to continue as we were. No, we should split up for now. I, I guess I'll go back to the circus then. You'll come visit me there, won't you? Uh, yes. Return to the circus if we need you again. We'll come and get you. That will probably never happen. And Minsk doesn't leave. All right. In the BG1, if you kick Dene here out, main skills with her, so... Uh -huh. Doesn't look like he cares about his witch as much as he did in BG1. Yes. I am ready, I think. And we'll also get rid of uh, Yoshimo. Because we're about to have another thief. What do you need? I am what? skilled in avoidance. As you shall see. Are you interested in purchasing a bit of merchandise, my friend? Why not? What merchandise do you carry, good gnome? Well, you've got the look of an adventurer about you. I've been one myself. Betwixt stints as a turnip salesman, that is. Occasionally, the markets get down and the formerly self-respecting purveyors of fine veggies are forced to prostitute their abilities in the form of adventuring. Yes, of course, mobile vegetable peddling versus heroism, the eternal question. You understand implicitly. That reminds me of the time that dear cousin Josephine fell fell in with that gully dwarf. Miserable bloke, really. Bad teeth, rancid smell, truly a joke of the gods. We used to torment Jose, that was my pet name for her, about her teensy weensy nose and the way that it hooked her that it hooked into her. Uh what is your point? My point, oh so friendly one, is that I've items to sell you that are especially created by yours truly to aid one on a dangerous path to heroism. They're known as Jan Janssens, that's me, Flasher Master Bruiser Mate. He couldn't have chosen a shorter name. Now pay attention, you take one of these, of these babies and chuck it at average Joe Orc. Close your eyes real tight and whoosh! He's running around in circles, clutching at, at his eyeballs and screaming and yelling like Uncle Sven after three days on a turning beer bender. I trust all is well. Hold, gnome, in the name of the Omnion Revenue and Taxation Board. Ah, not again. That bottom-feeding, turnip-hating, scum-sucking brigand. Nothing better to do than stop an honest businessman from selling high-quality illegal flashers for a reasonable price. Here he comes. Cover for me. I trust all is well. Jan Janssen, gnomish citizen of Arm, you have been charged with tax evasion and the illegal sale of illegal items in an illegal manner. <laughs> that could hardly be more illegal. Tracks, old friend, you do me a great wrong. I would never break the law, as my pappy always said. Enough! You will not sidetrack me with your cursed tales again. I'm smarter than you think. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, you! Latrin duty beckons. That's better. We've been onto you for days, Janssen. We've caught you in the very act of selling your dangerous and illegal contraptions. What cruel fate! Falsely accused by an old friend. I'm not your friend, Janssen. You're not anyone's friend. Oh, that's it. You enjoy guarding used chamber pots? Sorry, sir. I swear this job will end me in an asylum. And who might you be? You're certainly no regular customer of this felon. I'm Zekel, an adventurer. Well, Zekel, did this gnome try to sell you any illegal merchandise? Specifically, flashers, as he calls them. 
I don't know what you're talking about. We were simply talking about the weather. Curses! The gnome has got into you too. Janssen, you can no longer pedal in Athkatla. As for you, Zekel, you have made a dangerous enemy. Who's the dangerous enemy? I am, you idiot. Move it! Back to the office. There goes a truly evil man. Uncle Scratchy seems like a saint in comparison. Regardless, it seems that I'm once again out of the black market. At least until I scrounge up a fortune to set up my business and have track superiors well bribed. Do you be needing a hand in your party? Um, what skills can you offer my party? A fast mouth? Yeah, I've seen that. A handy shot with a crossbow and all the illegal machinery that I can invent. I would like to have you join my party. Let us depart then, my new companion. I've an itch to pepper a few hop goblins with crossbow bolts. You should probably know that I have business with a powerful wizard named Irenicus. It could be quite dangerous. I've had dangerous dealings with a wizard or two myself. In fact, Golodon the young man had the most dangerous breath this side of Rashomon. A casual conversation between him and Roser the Unwilling almost started the Guild War of 42, you know. All those spells he cast, thinking he was cursed, and all he really needed was a good dentist. Of course, you show me a dentist who's willing who's willing to yank a rotten tooth out of the mouth of a cranky wizard, and I'll show you a pig with wings. Big ones. They have them in the mood chase, you know. But enough about me. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. So, Jan Janssen is a highly verbose gnome, as yes, you can yes. see. Yes, yes. A standard tactic, that. Who will talk about everything but uh, what he wants to talk about. Um, he has a unique gear, a lot of it. Spectro Janssen's brand micro, mic micro macro spectroscopes. Official spectroscopes of the Purple Brother <laughs> Purple Brotherhood. Yeah, so this gives him some uh, Bonus to his thieving skill, so he's a illusionist and thief. He's a really good mage and a really good thief. The gadget Janssen brand techno thieving gadgetizer gloves. It's a trade. They are trademarked. And he has Janssen brand metal repellent adventure wear patent <laughs> patent pending. Nice. And it's an armor with the unique property of. Jan can wear it and uh, keep his ability to cast spells. And it gives him some resistance to physical damage and a hefty bonus to miss against missile attacks. He has his, his own um, crossbow ammunition called the Flasher Master Bruiser Mate. Which is the ammunition for his crossbow which is called the Flasher Master Bruiser. And it stuns opponents and does approximately no damage. And this is... Um, what? So the crossbow is the flasher master bruiser, but here it's, it's referred to as the flasher launcher. Anyway. Jan Janssen at your service! Oh. So that's Jan Janssen. He will be our thief and mage from now on. And as such, we have no need for Yoshino. Uh -huh. So it has been good knowing you. I do not wish to end our pairing before our tasks are done, but perhaps our rest is in order. You sure you want to go separate paths? We don't need your services right now, sorry Yoshimo. And you can go to the copper coronet. Yes. What do you want? Alright, so this is our new party. We still have uh Minsk and Jahira. Viconia and Jan Janssen, who's a new addition in Baldur's Gate 2. All the others are uh, former companions from BG1, actually. What? Huh? Out with it. It's like we're all family. Actually, not really for Jahiran Minsk. Hear ye, hear ye! 
She's a scorcher this morn. A dozen Carax hit the high seas for Matzika. Water deep in the new arms showdown for resources. Uh, another day, another story I don't care about. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think I still have a stitch in my leg from lying in that cold cell we were in. It is good to be up and moving. Yeah, I have a few pains from that incident myself, though I'm not certain as of the cause. I'm not surprised. Irenicus seemed to have a special interest in you. I imagine he will be not he will not be the last, and I cannot blame him. I have an interest as well. As a harper, I mean, I wouldn't want you to think Um let's just get moving. It is a I go. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you wish. And who might you be? You! A dark elf amongst us. Yet more evidence that the demi-humans are coming upon us to rule. Believe me, Rivol, if the drow were here to rule, you'll be well aware of it by now. I love Viconia for all her banter. In the name of the council, I am here to keep order. Be merry, friend. Greetings. You are known to me. Or your deeds are known to those I serve. I think I should introduce myself. I am Medine. I represent one of the masters of the Athkatla ordered orders Order of the Cald Wizards. He seeks to employ you in a matter of some urgency. I would like to know what kind of reward I am looking at before you speak any further. The reward for the task is known only to the one I represent, but he is eager to meet with you. And as a cowed wizard, possesses resources to offer great rewards. Might you wish to meet with him, yes? I'd prefer to know what task I'd be undertaking before I meet before I met with this man. The matter is most sensitive. I have been given little knowledge of it. Told Jerius, the one whom I speak for, is eager to meet with you and discuss these matters. All right then, tell me how I go about meeting this Toljerias. He will be most pleased. Master Toljerias, Toljerias can be found in the government building be behind me. You may go within. Do not tarry over long, my friend. So the Cald Wizards want, want to meet us? They have a task for us? After capturing one of my friends? Hmm. Yes. What? Well, anyway, we want to talk with the proper people to get a license to cast magic, so... Let's get in here. Yeah, yeah. 